Good day, and welcome again to Emanuel Lutheran Church here in Seaboing, Michigan. I'm Pastor Boyer coming at you today with another devotional thought. We're here in our sanctuary, and I'm sitting in my seat. Uh, the pastors often don't sit during divine service because we're up either speaking for the people of God or speaking for God to the people. But for that brief moment, uh, as we sing the sermon hymn, this is where the pastor sits. And we often perhaps wonder in that moment, what goes through the pastor's mind? And what goes through my mind very often, and perhaps most pastors as well, is a particular verse from John's Gospel. Uh, that verse is from John chapter 12, and it goes like this, beginning at verse 20. Now among those who went up to worship at the feast were some Greeks. So these came to Philip, who was from the Seda in Galilee, and asked him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew, and Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Just that. That's it. Some Greeks come and go to Philip and say, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. And of course, Philip goes and finds his friend Andrew, and they go together to Jesus, that Jesus would come and speak to those Greeks. The Greeks went to Philip because his name was Greek, and perhaps he was. They go to the guy who they feel most comfortable with, and perhaps they're not comfortable coming to Jesus themselves. They want Philip to take them to Jesus. Sir, we would see Jesus. That's the job of the pastor, to bring Jesus, to speak Jesus to deliver Jesus. That's the whole service, the divine service that we do. In the confession and absolution, as we confess our sins, we are given that absolution. We are given Jesus. In the readings from the lectern, we're given Jesus. In the sermon, we are reminded of our sins and given Jesus. In the supper, we are given Jesus. That's the job of the pastor during the divine service, to give Jesus. That's the job that we pastors take very seriously. So we proclaim God's word. We proclaim not ourselves, or our own ideas or passions, but we proclaim Jesus Christ and him crucified. So as the pastor sits here, he prays that he would give his people Jesus. Sir, we would see Jesus, the Jesus who does the will of the Father, who comes among us sinners, born of Mary, born under the law, the Jesus who speaks those parables, directing us to what the kingdom of heaven is like, the Jesus who heals and calms the storm. The Jesus who comes among us to forgive us, to calm the storms of our life, to show us what the kingdom of heaven is. The Jesus who heals our sins and comes among us through those humble means of grace. It's that Jesus who we share together it's that Jesus who you receive here in the divine service, and then you go out, and you take that Jesus to your family, your friends, your neighbors. They would see Jesus too. We Christians know it's not enough to simply receive. We want to also give. For Philip, it wasn't enough to receive, but he was blessed to give. Sir, we would see Jesus. They saw Jesus, not just by word, but by example. By your example, how you live your Christian life. Your family, your 
friends, your neighbors, they see how you live. They see Jesus, the acts of mercy that you show them. They see Jesus, the comforting words you speak to them. They see Jesus. Sir, we would see Jesus. How blessed we are to have seen our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. How blessed we are to give Jesus Christ not just here in the divine service, but every day as we live out our vocations in this world. How blessed we are in Jesus Christ to receive and give. Would you join me in prayer? <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we are indeed blessed to receive Jesus Christ. We are blessed to speak him to those around us, and to live out our lives as Christians, directing others to see the faith that you have given us. Bless them as they see Jesus through us. Grant them to rejoice in the salvation that they have been given and that they receive through their Savior Jesus as well. Use us, poor sinners, to reach those around us with Jesus Christ, even as you used Philip to bring Jesus to those Greeks. Heavenly Father, we rejoice in all that Jesus does for us, for we stand forgiven in him now and forevermore, as we pray this in his holy name. Amen. Thank you again for joining me. I love you, the Lord loves you, and I'll talk to you again soon.